There are so many ways Fresno State students are involved in our community, giving blood, giving their time to help children, and inspiring the next generation of Bulldogs. Student artists inspire as well. I'd like to introduce you to Daniel Jansen, who's been creating art for 20 years now. <laughs> Two of Daniel Jansen's pieces are currently in the Fresno Arts Council Gallery. One piece is inspired by roadside blossoms in the Reedley area. His peach blossom painting was the result of an artist's nightmare. He was all the way out in the orchard and realized he forgot his paints. In the midst of my panic, <laughs> I uh, just closed my eyes and thought, well, what do you have? And so I started looking around in my car and what I found was M&M's and coffee. Jansen's second piece in the gallery, he says is his favorite, is also not of standard practice. He used the tip of an eraser dipped in an ink pad. The Fresno Arts Council works hand in hand with Fresno Arts Hop events, supporting local artists like Jansen. There's a place to show your art and various venues for Art Hop. And we're always here to answer questions or help find opportunities. And Jansen's art has been displayed here at the Conley Art Gallery. He and other students have a chance to display their pieces and compete in the yearly student art show. So we do our best to um, uh, develop programming that will bring our community here. And it's a great way to bring awareness of what we're doing here, but also um, it's also a wonderful way to recruit students too. The next showcase for the Fresno Arts Council is the Arts Alive Agricultural Exhibit on April 27th. That is open to the public and will be at the San Joaquin Parkway Trust River Center at 530, where Daniel Jansen will be judging the showcases. How would you like to receive a gift card instead of a ticket? I'm Kaylee Kwashink. We have the full story coming up next. I'm here in Northeast Fresno, where Valley Animal Center is doing a day-long donation event. We're right off Cornelia Avenue where the apartment is located and parts of the entrance and exit have been closed for an unknown amount of time. In Central Fresno, I'm Kaylee Quash. We are nearing seasonal cold and flu peaks and it is approaching faster than you may think. Speaking of the arts, a drama organization on campus has its first two-person show in recent history this Saturday. The student-run experimental theater company, or ETC, has opportunities for any Fresno State student to join and express their creative side. And if you would like to come to the fair, they're open at 3 o'clock Thursday, Friday, and 5 o'clock Saturday, Sunday. So we'll hope to see you out there. And I'm here with one more 2023 graduate, Morgan D. Vaccaro. She's a speech pathology major. What is your best advice for incoming freshmen since you've been here for four years? I would say my biggest piece of advice that I wish I knew as an incoming freshman was just to remember that your professors are human. Uh, if you're going through something rough or you need a little extra help, make sure that you email them, reach out to them, go to their office hours because 90% of the time they're willing to help and make accommodations to make life a little bit easier for you. Congrats and good luck to you reporting live at the Schmidt Camp House. I'm Kaylee Kwashnick with Fresno State Focus.